Did you hear that Amazon is changing its fees for 2024? Fees may be going up for Amazon FBA sellers and they might be going down for a different type of seller such as FBM. What does this mean for you? What does this mean for the average seller? And why do I keep seeing so many confusing videos on this that are so long? Let's keep it short and sweet today and let me go over the important topics of this new pricing update. What does it mean to you? Let's dive in. I'm Josh Hackett, by the way, CEO and founder of EHP Consulting Group, multi-million dollar Amazon consulting firm. Happy to help you on Amazon. But anyway, changes and in FBA inventory. The main changes are people who sell Amazon FBA. If you sell Amazon fulfilled by merchant, this isn't going to be a big deal at all. Pretty much almost no difference for you right now. It's mainly for FBA sellers because it sounds like the shipping's getting more expensive for Amazon for two days to handle that. So uh, we got f FBA fulfillment fees, storage fees, long-term storage fees, and removal fees are going up. So the first thing we're going to talk about is FBA inventory inbounding and placement. So what usually happens is you ship a pallet to Amazon, then Amazon takes that inventory and then they send it to California, they put some in New Jersey, they put some in Florida, so that way everybody gets two-day shipping. And Amazon does that for free. The initial shipment to Amazon cost money, but them sending it to other fulfillment places is free. That's going to cost money now. So now you, sh you can ship it all to one location like you have been doing. But as of March 2024, this is when this one's supposed to run out or roll out, they're going to charge an extra fee to send to multiple. So, so everybody gets two day shipping. So an extra 30 cents per unit and it could go even up to $6 per unit. Now you receive a huge discount if you say, hey, I'm gonna ship it to all these locations instead of shipping it to one location and then Amazon shipping it to the rest. So up to you here, uh, let's just hope, uh, you know, I always, as a seller, I ship it to one location, Amazon does the rest for me. I think that's how it should be. Now Amazon is trying to charge you an extra fee. And if you wanna do it yourself, it's gonna be a headache. So hopefully this doesn't roll out. This is just going to pretty much make Amazon FBA cost more money. So I hope you understood that one. Uh, we got changes to Amazon FBA fulfillment fees. So we've got fulfillment fee in 2024, right? January 15th, which is right around the corner uh, to February 4th, 2024. And then we have this tier. And then it looks like it's changing again from February 5th to April 14th. And then it's changing again from April 15th to, uh, to April 15th and on. So it looks like it's going, so it starts at $3.22. Then they have an updated measurements. So two ounces and less, two to four ounces. So making it very specific here. And then the prices should decrease. So they're trying to decrease these types of prices so it makes up for these prices for it to be uh, sent to different locations. So if this is 30 cents a piece, you should be, you're not really saving money. It's still gonna cost a little bit. It's gonna cost less pretty much, but as you can see the fees differences. So 386, 386, 368. So the price for fulfillment is going to go up and then it's going to go a little bit down. Again, I don't know why they're doing this, but it looks like they're increasing fees. New seller central ships in products packaging. There's a cost saving program um, that's going to roll out as well. Ships in product packaging is a new cost saving program opportunity, which appears to be a rebranding of Amazon's ship in your own container program. So instead, right now, when a buyer receives the package, they receive their package. Let's say if I'm selling this, I send this to Amazon in a poly mailer, Amazon puts it in another bag that has the Amazon branding on it. Amazon wants to stop doing that. And if, they, if you have really good packaging, then you'll save money. They'll give you a discount pretty much. So instead of it being shipped in Amazon's packaging, it gets to Amazon, puts in Amazon's packaging. Instead of that, 
you'll ship it directly to Amazon. Amazon doesn't put their logo or anything on it and they ship it directly to the customer. Buyers love the Amazon packaging. You know, I always get happy when I see the Amazon tape and the Amazon packaging, um, but it looks like you can receive a discount of four cents to a dollar and 32 per item, which is a significant amount. I don't know how happy buyers will be, but I guess that's good for the seller. Changes to inventory and FBA monthly storage fees. So prior to April 1st, so this is supposed to roll out April 1st, okay? And this is what it is right now, pretty much. It's January through September, 87 cents per cubic foot. April after April 1st, it's gonna be 78 cents. So it is going down. So the fee should even out. And then we have the large and bulky are staying the same. The only thing that's different is Jan is the standard size through January, September. It looks like you're saving around nine cents. So it's looking like it could even out, but still it doesn't look that good. Okay, new, so low inventory level fee. So if you're starting a new product and it doesn't do good, you have 28 days uh, it, pretty much what will be charged when sellers fail to maintain on-hand inventory to meet 28 historical days of supply. Sellers, When sellers carry low inventory relative to unit sales, it inhibits Amazon's ability to distribute products across the FBA network. So they want you to have a solid amount of inventory or you'll get penalized for that. Don't run out of inventory. It hurts Amazon. It hurts their distribution system, right? Zero to 14 historical days of supply, 14. So you need to have at least 30 days of supply ready to go or else you're gonna get charged an additional fee, it looks like. I wonder, so I guess they just do 30 days. Then storage utilization and long-term storage fee. This is gonna roll out April, 2024. There's a lot of changes here. So a lot of changes is never a good thing. Uh, so again, it looks like Sellers who have irresponsibly overstocked quantities of their products for more than 44 weeks will be penalized with higher surcharges. So they're really, you really need to look at your inventory. It's all coming down to inventory. You need to have the right amount of inventory. Can't have too much. You can't have too little now. So you used to have, you could used to be able to have as little as you want. Now you can't have too much. You can't have too little. And um, that's what it's coming down to. You need to, if you don't have somebody who's working inventory, if you're not monitoring your inventory properly, monitor your inventory dashboard and look at all of that. We're also looking at aged inventory long-term storage fees. So here's the storage fees. Prior, right, it looks like some of the fees, are, these fees are going up, okay? So it used to be $3.80, 270 days of inventory. And now if you have more than that, starting February 15th, it's gonna be $5, almost double. So you just need to have all your inventory. This all comes down to inventory. Amazon doesn't wanna mess around with inventory now. FBA removal or disposal fees are going to increase. This is a pain because when a customer returns a product, you are going, you have to remove them or have Amazon remove it. And that's just how Amazon works and Amazon's charging more for it. So before February 5th and then after, so it looks like it's going up around 10 cents for most, this one's going up almost a dollar if you have big items. And now, their uh, return processing fee. So if you get too many returns, they're gonna be charging you a return processing fee. Amazon will be implementing a returns processing fee starting June 1st, 2024. Charge the products that have return rates above a category specific threshold. So if you're in electronics, you're probably gonna get more returns. So hopefully they have a higher threshold for that. If you're in supplements, higher threshold. But if you're in like crochet kits, Usually that's gonna have maybe like a 5% return rate. And if you get over that, Amazon's gonna start charging you a return processing fee. Now, I don't know exactly how much that fee is going to be, but it doesn't look too good. So if we're going here, 
it looks like it's they're going to be they're going to start charging you apparel and shoes ah, i see there's a lot of returns for apparel shoes things like that i guess if it doesn't fit right so that's going to make it a lot harder if you're selling apparel changes to apparel amazon fba fees changes to amazon vine fees changes to the fba new selection program they're trying to make their services better um, but it, it is hurting the sellers and we're going to have to stay on top of our inventory inbound placement fee what's the low inventory fee how does amazon calculate fba storage utilization surcharge how do i enroll in the ships and product program here's the link Enrollment will be available directly in Seller Central. And this is if you want to use your own packaging instead of um, Amazon using its own packaging. So you can save uh, money. Disclaimer, these might change. These fees might change. So just keep that in mind. So yeah, that's pretty much it. The main takeaway of this video is make sure you're watching your inventory go to your inventory dashboard right now check it out understand your inventory understand your inventory index understand that you may need a 3pl which is a warehouse a logistics company that will hold your inventory for you and won't charge these crazy fees so just be ready for this be ready for extra fees and try to dial this in dial your inventory in so you don't have too much and you don't have too little that's what it's going to come down to. If you like this video and you understand and you learn something new, please drop a like and subscribe. We just got to 100 followers, subscribers, and I would really appreciate it if you took two seconds out of your time to drop a like. It makes my day. And feel free to reach out to EHP Consulting Group if you need help on Amazon, increasing sales, helping with inventory. We have a six person inventory team that makes sure that your inventory is proper and you only have 120 days worth of inventory. Never too low, never too much. Thank you so much.